It looks good. Call this meeting to order. First up is the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Welcome all. And we will move on with roll call, please. Fish. Here. Hausman. Here. Jones. Here. McNerney. Parsons. Here. Wells. Here. Mayor Beasley. Here. All right. We will move on with an agenda. Um, 21B and 22D are eliminated. 21B and 22D. Motion from Jones, second from Parsons to approve questions or discussion. If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed. All right. We have the minutes of the April 12th briefing, the April 16th regular council meeting, and the May 2nd special meeting. I'll make a motion to approve. A motion from Hausman, second from Wells, to approve the minutes of those three meetings. Questions or discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, that brings us to our item five claims for May 7th. Motion to approve. Second. Motion from Jones. Second from Parsons to approve the claims, questions, or discussion. If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. That brings us to our visitors and timed items. Our first up, we have the Secretary's Award for Drinking Water and Excellence. Um, Mr. Wells, I will let you present those if you so desire. If, if you're... Um, Raleigh and his group Raleigh come up. Is correct. That's right. The uh, Secretary's Award for Safe Drinking, and I, as I have said at our council meetings and at our water committee meetings, you guys put a tremendous amount of work into accomplishing this, and I am very appreciative of what you do, and, and I mean that. Uh, and I hope you, I hope you know, I really mean that. I, I know I'm leaving, but I, I, you guys do a tremendous job, not just, not just with this, but with everything, and I'm very appreciative of it. So I am. Please to present that to you, Mr. Roll. Thank you, sir. Donovan. Thank you, sir. Troy. And we've got several others that aren't here. Troy, thank you. And uh, Raleigh, I'll present this. This is for Dale Kerber, Larry Bixby, and is it Jeremy Olson. Okay. And this is the official award. So, I can shake your hand. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you. 
thank you there, guys, and Mr. Wells for that. Um, moving on, Brandon Valley Matt Cats Youth Wrestling Club wants to use McCarty Park for a McCarty Park SummerSlam Wrestling Tournament. Thursday, May 19th from 5, or excuse me, Thursday, July 19th, 5 to 8. The maps of McCarty Park are, are uh, in your packet as well as the explanation of what their request is. Uh, three local food vendors on site. Um, cleanup will begin right after the event is done. Is there anybody here to talk about it? You can't come without getting up. <laughs> Just push the purple button. Yeah. Is it on? There you go. Luke Hartman. 1605 Keystone Drive. Yeah, pull it up. John Peters, 1612 River Oak Avenue. Well, one thing to change on that, it's actually July 26th. 26th. Would be. Following Thursday. Yep. So our camp would be the 25th and 26th. Okay. And then we'll, that's, what, that's how we'll finish up the camp is we'll go out there and you know, we're just, it's its actually a new idea we come up with, so this could go either way, it could go great or not, so, yeah, you know, we're kind of looking forward to it, just bringing a bunch of wrestlers around the region to come in and do a tournament in the summer outside. Sounds like a great idea, so we're going to go with it, <laughs> if you guys are okay with it. <laughs> Certainly. Certainly. Yeah, um, yeah and obviously it, it's going to be kids so there's no adult beverages it's just going to be food and whatnot yeah we're going to have a couple vendors i think we're going to have a probably have a local vendor and maybe b dubs and it's going to be open to the public too so it's a way for us to generate some money too okay. as well selling some food right. and brats and stuff brats like and that. hot dogs and that sounds yep. good yep so and then you're, we're going to control the traffic I, I i heard that it's closed the traffic is is uh, yeah going to be closed there for so they're going to park over by the hockey rink. Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, between all the parents and stuff, have some directing sure. and a lot of help. And you know, as far as tear down and stuff, I mean, between the wrestlers and all the parents and stuff, that all goes pretty quick you know, and stuff with volunteers. So it should get cleaned up pretty well. All right. Any questions for these two gentlemen? I will. Second. A motion from Jones, second from Hausman to approve it with the new date of July 26th. From 5 to 8 p.m. still? Yes. yes, the actual event will be from 5 to 8. Yep. yep. Okay. Because here you have set them to begin at 8 p.m., but you actually meant tear down to begin at 8 p.m. Yeah, I, I noticed a few mistakes in the way it's spelling. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> so, all right, that's all right. Sure. We're just the minions along for the rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. I have a motion and a second. Any other questions or discussion? If not, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck. Good luck. Keep your fingers crossed on the weather. And then item seven, we need approval of the board canvassing minutes. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. I have a motion. From Maybe I can. Yeah, can you? Yeah. I can. Yeah, you can. Okay. A motion from Hausman, second from Fish to approve the minutes of the board canvassing of canvassing. Questions or discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Any other visitors timed items? If not, I will call for an adjournment of the old council. So moved. Second. Motion from Parsons, second from Jones for adjournment of the old council. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. I will call the new council to order, and I would like uh, Barb, Chuck, and Tim, please come forward. I suppose we should do it down front. Thank you. 
of office for the city of Brennan and I have been elected to the office of Alderman with the city of Brennan, South Dakota, to solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America, the Constitution of the State of South Dakota, and all local ordinance of said city of Brennan, and that I will faithfully and impartially, to the best of my ability, perform all duties of set in office on the Alderman according to the law. Congratulations. Okay, so this meeting is called to order. We've had multiple discussions about this drawing for seating. What do we, we want to do? It's up to you guys. I, no. I would rather. Yeah. I mean, we can move. I don't have any problems, but it's going to take a while because I've got years of stuff. We're fine. Okay, so we will scratch that off. I will call for a approval of the remaining agenda with those same said changes still in effect. Motion to approve. Second. A motion from Hausman, second from Wells to um, approve the agenda. Any questions or discussion? If not, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Election of council president and vice president. It is currently Mr. Jones as president, Ms. Fish for VP. Questions or discussion? Or anybody want to I make nomin? Keep it the same. Second. A motion and a second. Down the track. <laughs> to keep it as is. Do I have any others? Do I have a motion then nomination cease? Then? Yeah. 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 Do I have a second, second for that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but he seconded that, but I still have to have no nominations. Okay. Yes, I know. With that being said, I have a motion and a second to cease nominations with the nomination and sec second for it to stay the same. With that being said, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Now we have multiple. Um, official depository designations. First National Bank in Sioux Falls. First National Bank of Sioux Falls, the Brandon Branch. Great Western Bank, Brandon Branch. South Dakota P Public Funds Investment Trust. And Wells Fargo, Brandon Branch. Motion from Fish. Second from Jones to approve those official depositories. And and Mayor, maybe we could do the first two just because Mr. Parsons is an employee of the okay. bank. So maybe we so we can vote on the other ones. Oh, we could maybe divide those out. On the first two, thank you. Second is that okay, so I have a was you on the first number? On the first two. Okay. So I have a amended Yeah, yes. yeah, mm -hmm. amend, yeah, amend the motion so I will amend my motion to include just the first two, First National Bank in Sioux Falls, the First National Bank of Sioux Falls. No, that should be in both of them. Both of them in, okay. Oh, okay, you're right. So, and you're all right with that second? Okay, so I have a motion and a second for the first two, dealing with the First National Bank in Sioux Falls and the Brandon branch of the First National Bank in Sioux Falls. With that being said, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. And I'm abstaining. And one abstain. Okay. Excellent. Now, I will take a motion and a second for the Great Western, the South Dakota Public Funds Investment Trust, and the Wells Fargo. So moved. Motion from Parsons, second from Jones to approve those three. With that being said, any questions or discussion? If not, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Committee. 
The golf course is currently John, and Mr. Parsons has approached me and said he would like to take that. The park and rec is currently Barb. Police is currently Blaine. Administration is was Chuck. Joe wants it. So, do you have any interest in anything there, my friend? I met with uh, Zane already. Talked to him as well. Um, so, um, with Don leaving, water and sewer would make sense. Okay. As well, so. Is that what you would? Water and sewer. Yep. Okay. So when when we fill a seat, yep. Okay. So thank you for that. All right. Those would be my appointments, and we do not need to vote on those. Now, the next one, item eight, is our city attorney. I am at a loss for what we're going to do, because we did this two months ago. What are we going to do with, with the engineer? Or do you want to do them separately? It's up to you, Council. We can do them all at once, or we can do them separately. Well, no, 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 it's till we get the new one in. Other than, I guess, my recommendation is um, you can make a motion for an interval. So to the extent any of these appointments you don't want to make for a year, Mm -hmm. then my rec See, that's, that was my, my recommendation would to do the ones you want for a year for a full year and any that you want to do for an interval to do starting today um, for an interval at such time as you um, decide to provide notice of termination okay. not exceeding one year for any interval ones that makes sense yes okay. it does to me <clears throat> so, so I'll make a motion to approve the city attorney the finance officer can I do that yes Chief? Right yes Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to make the motion to approve city attorney, finance officer, and police chief right now. Second. Motion from Hausman, second from Wells for the city attorney, finance officer, and police chief. Questions or discussion? And then maybe clarify that those would be a year appointment? Yes, those would be for, for from May 2018 to May 2019. Any questions or discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. So, refresh my memory on this engineer timeline. When do we hope to have this person on board? Because we, we did in March, August. and we said till May 7th. Yep. It would be, I'm looking at the time frame, probably August by the time we get through selection interviews and then they would need to give notice that they're assuming they're currently employed to their current employer. I would think sometime in August. An exact date is going to be... Sure, understandable. Up in the air. So should we say through September? First meeting in September? We can go to September. Yeah. That's fine. We can always revisit as we go through the interview process. If our final applicants, they may have contracts that say 90 days. I don't know. Um, we can always come back and, and review that. All right. All right, so I make a motion to approve Stockwell Engineers. Well, and let me just interject that you're kind of what we did before is an, a person. So it would be John Brown because it needs to be a person oh. as opposed to the firm. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to make a motion to approve City Engineer John Brown up until September 1, are we going? September 1, 2018. Second. Motion from Hausman, second by Jones. Question or discussion? How is this going to be impacted with our uh, responses of the RFP? I think that we're looking at additional firms for that, uh, and uh, definitely we want to make sure that the RFP is able to be followed through correctly. Um, you know, I had a wonderful opportunity to meet with the team at Stockwell Engineers this afternoon. I think they're very capable. Uh, I don't want uh, any situation where the RFP or um, anything like that is, is a challenge. Uh, the other situation, um, in this case, uh, we did uh, elect or appoint John Brown. Uh, how does that work, Lisa, I guess, when uh, John Brown isn't here and he sends someone in his 
position which i'm very glad that they do but i like to make sure we understand that because of the risk right so you mean you have a there's not a risk in appointing him and having somebody else from his firm attend in this place the south dakota statutes say and our city ordinance say the city shall appoint somebody as engineer but you can have those services be provided by somebody else within his firm you know somebody else can do the surveying at his direction um, same thing for example with myself is I'm your appointed city attorney, but I may have somebody at my law office sit here once in a while if I'm out of town, and that way you make sure you have somebody here to answer your questions, or they may do legal services for you under my direction. So that would be the same thing. With respect to your um, question about the RFP, um, there are certain things by statute that the city engineer needs to do. Um, there are certain things in your RFP that you're wanting that firm to do, and so I, I don't know that there's a crossover in terms of clarification of what duties you have your city engineer do versus somebody do for an RFP. Does that make sense? Yep, perfect. That's all I was looking for. Thank you. Any other questions or discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Revolving Loan Fund Foundation um, Mr. Jones, your two-year term is up. Barb, you have one left. I will look for a volunteer. Okay. With that being said, I will have Barb finish out her one year of a two-year term, and Mr. Jones will take on a <laughs> new two-year term. Uh, that is my recommendation. I will entertain motion in a second for that. So moved. I have a motion from Parsons, second from Hausman to approve. Uh, any questions or discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Item 10, planning and zoning. We have two, Brian Heidrink and Lisa Teeley. She, both of them have said that they would like to continue. Um, the council representative is Mr. Parsons. He said he would continue even though that Joe is is on the administration. Um, it's kind of a change in, in what we've done in the past, but with uh, Chuck's experience at planning and zoning, I think that makes sense. Yep. So that, again, is my appointments. I have a motion from Fish, second from Wells to approve. Any questions or discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? All right. Um, Park Advisory, Al Kirkaby's term is expired. He has consented to continue on with that. So, and then um, Barb is our council representative and she has agreed to continue on with that also that being said those are my appointments I will entertain a motion in a second I heard I, it kind of sounded like Charlie Brown for a second there <laughs> okay uh, I'll go with Parsons on the motion and and <clears throat> Mr. Wakefield on the uh, second thank you um, any questions or discussion if not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. And that's the end of some of those appointments, but th at this time I'd like us to definitely keep our lines of communication open to what Brian has suggested a couple meetings ago is look at those three things and you, we, you still can work in that area that you're comfortable with, but let's start looking at kind of streamlining, if you would, please. Yeah. Okay. The ever-busy library committee is <laughs> there. <coughs> Currently is Joe. I'm I wanted to stay Joe, too. It takes a lot. Yes. Joe, how did I get water and sewer and be a library? Yes. You just need to know the right people. Yes. Um, I assume you'd like to continue of with that. I would. I would yes. Like to stay on that. Okay. It, I have a motion from Parsons, second from Wakefield, on the approval of the library committee. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. <clears throat> 
I was going to say. Um, they took away my tree board. You, ha you haven't met to, to a meeting yet. <laughs> the official newspaper is Brandon Valley Challenger for a year. Um, the other paper in town has not been in existence long enough. Yeah. So we will continue with the Challenger if that's my um, appointment. Wait a second. Didn't we talk about we could add the journal on, though? We can add the journal on when they become an official newspaper in oh, August, August, July, August. Yep. August. if we so choose. Mm -hmm. August what? There you go. This is what I do. When we, after we publish July 26th, I believe, is a Wednesday, we are an official uh, legal newspaper at that point. So after this week's paper, 10 more weeks. Okay. okay. Takes us to the end of July. All right. Um, Thank you very much. Um, I have a motion from Jones. Oh, second. Second from Hausman to approve the Brandon Valley Challenger as our official newspaper for our legals. Questions or discussion? If not... All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed. All right. Liaison from Council to Community Fund. Usually um, either Dennis or Brian handles it. They move the meetings from the from over noon hour to early in the morning and with children at school age. Brian has difficulty making those. So Joe, you said you would take that. Okay, so that would be my appointment, and I do not need approval for that, but thank you very much. And that is the end of the first part of this. Consent calendar, plat of lots one and two, Coughlin edition. A motion and a second for approval. All in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. All right. Item 17, hire maintenance staff and cleaning people. Oh, we do not have cleaning people not at cleaning this point people in time. Yet. Nope. Oh, Hello? Okay. There. Um, we just have a few minor changes in our staff. Uh, we had a couple that we hired, I think, a meeting or two ago that didn't quite work out, so we're replacing them. Um, and then we have another maintenance staff that Kelly would like to uh, would like to hire. Okay. Um, we're looking pretty good staff-wise. The only thing uh, we're looking for is a, still a flower person, um, and then we're still looking for some cleaning help. So, anybody um, know anybody that's a good flower person? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I think we talked about that last meeting. I just like flowers. On the two on the lounge and the beverage, they're both rehires. Do they have to update their TAM? Or is um, that I, I can check with, I think everyone is going to have it up to date before they start because I talked to Carrie about that. I just don't know if they, I don't think there's up yet. I think they're still good. So. Okay. Um, yeah, other than that, we're... Uh, Getting to the busy time, leagues, tournaments, outings, weddings, so um, starting to starting to get busy. So, and then um, we did have our our fundraiser tournament. Uh, one person scramble. We raised, I think we raised close to three thousand for our car path fund. So we got a little more money there to do some more work this summer. So, good. Yep. And on Saturday, a two-person scramble tournament. Out yeah, there. but I looked at the weather; ain't looking too great for Saturday. So uh, we had to reschedule it last year. So I'm hoping we don't have to do that two years in a row. <laughs> so as long as it ain't raining, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Uh, Kelly would like to talk though about. Well, we got to uh, take care of the first thing. Oh, first. sorry. On the new hire, Zane, uh, we talked a little bit about. You had a question on the uh, age for the beverage people. Did you get that clarified? I think yeah. The we talked about that in our, our um, weekly meeting. It's 21. I'm not sure how. I don't know if it's different in the county, um, but because I know there was an individual that was working at a different course in the county that was not 21. I'm not sure if that's legal or not. But so. All right. Well, let's do it. The so right she's way, so. that's we have her, but she can't start until she turns 21 in July. So okay, she okay. was working at a different course where it was 
you know, she just I don't know the exact laws on that. I mean, I'm not sure. And I looked at it last year because the question came up, and and they need to be 21 unless they are in the lounge. Okay. So I don't consider being on a golf cart. Right. Just direct supervision of. So. That's kind of what I thought. So. Okay. All right. I will entertain a motion and a second to approve those listed. Second. Motion from Jones, second from Hausman. Questions or discussion? If not. All in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed. All right. Kelly, need a used mower. Yep. Um, basically, this is a, a, a second fairway mower to take the burden off the one that we have now. Um, you know, at the at the point that we're putting hours on the one that we have, you know, by the five year term, it'll be worth like zero dollars. Um, this one is a 2007 uh, Toro 5210 greens or uh, fairway mower, and it's got 3,553 hours on it. And uh, nice thing is, I I know who's been taking care of this most of its life. It was me. So, yeah, I <laughs> um, Hiawatha down in Canton got rid of it. Um, they bought a 2013 used one, and. Uh, this one, the only issue with it is it's probably only got three years worth of real life. And then, you know, our, our lease and all that will be up. And at that point, we can either keep it and, you know, move it on farther. But uh, we probably have to put about $5,000 into the reels. Yeah, the reels. So, but this one will extend our, our fairway more past the life of the five year term. And that'll extend out for probably another three years. So. One thing that helps us with that is, I think you said it takes eight hours yep. to mow with one more all our fairways, and you know it cut the time down in half, which is really important with all the outings that we have coming up this summer. And it enables us to get the course ready a little sooner. You have it in your budget too, right? Yeah, right. we got five thousand in the equipment budget. We're, uh, you know, the only the only other question in the equipment part would be our little pump in the river been in uh, beers box about six times now mm -hmm. the last time I was in there it, they're like it's about time yeah. so we're hopefully gonna make that last one more year and, and then push that to next year and replace that so okay. I have a motion from Wakefield second. second from mr. Wells all right questions or discussion if not all in favor signify by saying aye, aye. aye. opposed all right thanks gentlemen right. anything Thank else you. Brings us to item 18, please. Our report is there for your viewing and inspection. And the chief is coming up as we speak. Well, the pickup is not in yet, if you're curious about that. Um, things are still staying quiet around town, but. Uh, we did have some recent car hoppings. Car hopping is where people go into cars and they take stuff that's uh, that's there. And over the years, I've preached about this quite a bit. And I'll throw it out there again because I've got someone here from the media and uh, other people that can spread it to their their family and friends in town. Lock your cars up and uh, and don't leave valuable items laying out in the seat in the open. Uh, a gentleman was caught, gentleman, um, person was caught, and, uh, Thank you for that correction. well, <laughs> I don't know him well, but, you know, he, uh, and he did make a comment about how easy it is because people do leave their cars open, and, uh, and so I would encourage people to, yes, it's Brandon, yes, it's quiet, Sioux Falls is just a couple miles away and people do come over here and they do stuff. So if we can if we can get people to do that, turn your lights on outside at night and uh, that'll help the situation a little bit. And fortunately, yeah, the uh, person, uh, someone in the neighborhood heard a car alarm go off, looked out the window, saw people with flashlights walking around, thought that it was somewhat suspicious, and actually called. So, 
Well, yeah, four in the morning. So, anyway, much good things okay. spread the word. Four in the morning. Chief, did we have the prescription turn in? Did that happen here? Or yes, we did. And did you get much? Or ours is open all the time, isn't it? Our, ours is open all the time. I think we uh, we turned over something to the tune of 80, 85 pounds. Uh, it, it goes to a disposal site and is properly disposed of, so it doesn't get into the environment. Where can people turn them in at? They can uh, turn them in uh, when during typically during business hours. We've got a uh, box right inside our office, and uh, they can come in. They just put it in the box, and and it's transferred down uh, stairs, and we box that up and. And twice, well, 304 Maine, okay. the police department. Well, I, I know that, but yeah. not everybody knows we have, Yeah, we have people come in every day, it seems, and uh, drop stuff off throughout the year. So, And then twice a year we have the uh, the big day of, of the drug drop-off. And uh, we even have pharmacies bring stuff down and drop it off because that's what they do. Is it is it only prescription chief or is it like you know I got a bottle of Tylenol and or is it just it's, prescriptions? We we get everything. We don't uh, really look at it that close. Um, you know, people will bring in vitamins and and throw them in there. Vitamins they can they can dispose of themselves, but uh, we we don't sort through and say yeah you can put this in here. You can't put that. Inhalers uh, no, and then uh, with um, people diabetics. Uh, syringes, uh, there is, they, they can get, say, like one of those uh, plastic tied containers and they can put their syringes in there, tape it up, make it safe, and put it in the, put it in the trash, and that'll go out to the landfill. That's acceptable. So, yep. And, Chief, I wanted to thank you for letting the officers uh, take me out and uh, kind of experience Brandon. We got uh, three of the tick marks, I think it is, on it. This, uh, this month, so only three speeders in a couple hours, so oh. thank you, Chief. Certainly. Anything else, please? No. All right, Park and Rec, the work report's in front of us with some summer rec staff and pool staff. Uh, did we get Phil... Did we get filled up, Devin? How are we doing? No, we still need one more. But this is this is Yeah, this is summer wreck and pool, not right. Yeah, right. Not short one here. We've got a few things that were one more part time or full time? Seasonal. Okay. Yeah, forty hours a week, but just seasonal. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve summer rec staff. And the pool staff? And the pool. Thank you. Motion from Hausman, second from Wells to approve the summer maintenance. Oh, they, what is I'm sorry. It does say summer maintenance. I'm sorry. I, I missed that. So then it would be part time summer help, too. But My fault. I bet you're still waiting. Well, yeah, but there's so four I'll, listed. I'll make a motion to approve all of them. Okay. Thank you. I just okay. skipped right over summer maintenance. My fault. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Opposed. Swim America wants to use our pool after we get done with lessons to provide lessons. My question is, do they charge for these lessons? Yes. Okay. And are we charging them? Not this year. We will revisit that for next year. <clears throat> Have they provided us with uh, confirmation that they have the liability insurance in excess of $1 million? Yes. Yes. I do, I do have a report, Mayor, if you're Well, we got to take care of this. We, we got to take this America, first. Second. I have a motion and a second to have the agreement with Swim America. Motion from Jones, second from Hausman. With that being said, any other discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Now, okay. I will entertain your report. Sorry. Okay. 
So the pool's opening, I believe, the 26th, and Christina um, reports that the online registration is going well, so um, we're happy about that. We are putting out that survey. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this for I don't know how many months. The survey about what folks would like um, in our parks, and that will be going out, and the deadline will then be July 15th to get it back in. And we're trying to be a little bit more structured with our organizations, and so we're working on gifting agreements and agreements between the associations as to what they're responsible for and what we're responsible for. Um, and Devin, of course, is very busy at this point in time, so we're gonna be working on that more so this fall. But we have called um, some of them in to talk to them, and we'll bring in the rest of them just so that everybody's on the same page with that. Uh, we may work on a garbage cleanup day um, that has come up within our group, and that's been talked about before, so we'll see where that goes. Opening day at uh, the new baseball field is June 1st. Wow. And they plan to start planning uh, playing games on the weekend of the 19th, but the first is going to be the the open opening. And we've had some requests about pickleball, and so we're working on trying to rework one of our courts for that. We're working on that, too. So that's about where we're at, Mayor. Would that be the one closest to the swimming pool, those courts? Potentially. Okay. Yeah. I'm in conversation with tennis at this point. Okay. Um, I believe the 14th is the citywide sign-up at the golf course for summer rec programs and things of that nature so you'll get some more swimming lessons people coming in then too all right thank you. you bet thank you item 20 administration and abatement adjustment this is for the Dairy Queen property that the school purchased in November of 16 the abatement that you acted on was just for six months uh, they've owned the property for the entire year of 2017 so they are requesting the first six months an abatement for the first six months as well Okay. Motion from Houseman, second from Parsons to approve the abatement on the old Dairy Queen property now belonging to the school. Questions or discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Item B, we have some farm leases. Yeah, for property that we just purchased, the first one is for David Cole's route to farm or, or rent out the acreage that we bought from Randy Nelson. Total rent $150. The next one is for Dirk Johnson. We'll be leasing approximately 11 acres of property of the Peterson property that we bought south of Aspen Park. This will be the grassland. His rent will be that he will maintain it and, and uh, control the weeds. And the third lease let me find it here. Paul Siddig. It's yes, Paul, Paul Siddig. For, for the thirteen plus or minus thirteen acres of the, the tillable farmland on the Peterson property, the rent there will be $150 an acre. Motion to approve. That's total. Second. A motion from Fish, second from Jones to approve those three farm leases. Questions or discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Then we have um, first reading of ordinance 565, an ordinance of the city of Brandon, South Dakota, amending chapter 6 3, providing the definition, criteria, and the permitting of a farmer's market in central and general business districts and light and heavy industrial zoning districts. We have an individual that's interested in starting a farmer's market in, a, in the central business or a general business zone. Um, currently, all of those vendors that would be selling their, their products at that farmer's market would be what we consider a sidewalk vendor. They would be required to come in and get a separate vendor's permit from the city and that would be $100 each. I'm not sure that that's really fair if these people come in once a year and they may or may not come back. So what I would like to do is, or what I'm recommending is that we issue a farmer's market license or permit 
to an individual, and that would cover all of their people that they're bringing in, or their merchants that they're bringing in to sell at their farmer's market. So it's going to fluctuate throughout the year who's there, how many are there. This way, we just issue the one license. And then that person would be in charge of the organizational portion. Organization, of the sales tax, correct. Motion to approve. Second. Motion from Jones, second from Wells to approve first reading of ordinance 565, which provides a definition, criteria, and permitting of a farmer's market in central and general business and light and heavy industrial districts. Any questions or discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Item D. I, I know. A, an exciting time for Councilman Wells. He's going to move to the great state of Tennessee here. So, Mr. Wells, if you want to take over, I know it's probably an emotional time for you, sir. It is. A lot of things coming to an end today, <laughs> for those of you who know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Let's keep it professional. <laughs> Not only my resignation from my company and, and my resignation in last council meeting, but other things as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I, th this is something that, and I apologize for being somewhat distant today, but this is something that's been coming and, and uh, I haven't been able to make it public until now. Um, I was hoping to be here a little longer, but things are moving a little fast, a little faster than I anticipated with the new position out in, in Tennessee. So um, I am leaving city council, I'm leaving Brandon and, and uh, the water committee as, as well. And, and I gotta be honest with you, it's probably um, maybe more difficult to leave you know, council and the water committee than it is to leave my position with, with my current employer. I mean, this, is, this has meant a lot to me. You know, working with you folks, working with you folks and, and everyone out there is, is this is, I don't know if I've been a good council person. I don't know if I've been good for this position, but you have been good for me. Let's put it that way. So um, I hate to do it. I hate to leave. This, is, this has been a wonderful learning experience. And, and you know, it's been a year and it, and it takes a year to get even caught up with things in this position. I, I truly believe that. But um, it's been a wonderful learning position or experience and uh, and I've sure enjoyed working with the folks, and, and that's been the, my, my favorite part of it. Um, tackling tackling the, the tasks of water and sewer, uh, at times it's been definitely time-consuming, but I've, I, I can honestly say I've enjoyed every minute of it. I really have. Um, I tried to, you know, as far as the water committee goes, I've tried to lead that group with a very open mind, um, and I, I feel like I may have had instances where I was not open, but I think I corrected myself. And I hope that whoever comes in and, and leads that group uh, maintains that, that continuity as far as uh, an open mind, looking, looking to the future, considering all options, because obviously there's, there's a lot of them out there. So as far as the water committee goes, uh, we do not have someone that is, uh, you know, has stepped up and, and asked to take over yet, but we'll, we'll be in touch with that. I think what we're gonna do at the next com meeting, in fact, I'll probably be in Tennessee, but at the next meeting, I think what we're gonna have them do is just kind of have an open discussion about any members that currently sit in the in the committee or, or in the audience that, you know, there's been several people that have shown up for, for most of those meetings. If any of those have interest in taking over that, that committee, um, that they can, kind of talk amongst themselves and have a vote, either okay. either May 15th or the following meeting. Um, but as far as that goes, that's um, Brian and I have talked about it. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it in, in their hands. So um, as far as branding goes, this has been, you know, when I first started, it, it was it was kind of par for course, you know, council meetings moved along and, and our daily lives moved along. We didn't get caught up with, with some things that we are dealing with now. and. And I think some of those things have been good. They've been eye openers for us. They've brought us, you know, they they've brought change that maybe was needed. Um, other things, some of the, you know, some of the, some of the hate mail to to maybe to to call it has been kind of tough to deal with. But again, 
change is never easy and and sometimes some of that is 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 okay and and I can appreciate it um but it's it's been a it's been interesting and and I appreciate everybody that has spoken up and I truly mean that you know as far as the especially the the water committee I re, I tried to run that committee with uh, like I say an open mind but I also wanted to run it in a very informal way format I wanted people to be able to feel like they were being heard. We had people get very emotional in those meetings, in a few of those meetings, and I think that was fa that, fantastic. I was glad to see that because it, it, it let me know that people were, were venting their frustrations. And part of that water committee, the, the, the reason that that was formed was so that people could Bring the bring their frustrations to the surface, and we could deal with them. And I think we've done that. And, and I'm and again, I'm appreciative of that. Uh, as far as Brandon goes, you know, gosh, I, I, I every once in a while I see a comment about someone really putting Brandon down, and I, I I don't think those people have lived other places too much. I don't think they've been around because I can tell you, and I'm I'm going back to to work as a, a pilot for an airline, and and. I did that previous, and I can tell you I've lived in uh, seven different states now uh, throughout my 45 years, and, and I, can, I can tell you one thing. Brandon is one hell of a town, and, and, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. This is a, what I consider a sidewalk community. We have side, I was just talking, just talking to someone earlier today. We have sidewalks, you know, throughout, I consider Brandon a sidewalk town because we've got sidewalks where you can walk your kids or your family up to any store in this town and, and feel safe. That's pretty darn rare. And I can tell you that from experience. I've lived all over the nation. And, and that is, that's a, that's a great thing. Um, our crime rate, you know, our lowest crime rate in the state, this, this report came out. That's fantastic. Our schools, best schools in the state. Um, our golf course, Again, Zane and, and Kelly, what a tremendous job they do with that golf course. Our pools, our staff, it, it's just, I could go on and on, but I, uh, for the people that, that truly think that Brandon is, is this bad place, man, I gotta tell you, open your eyes, because this, this is one of the best communities I've ever lived in, and I've lived in quite a few, you know? It, it's, this is a, a fantastic place. We have our, we have our issues that we're dealing with. That's, that's okay. That's the, the cost of doing business on Mother Earth, you know, and, and we, will, we will make it through. So uh, that's my spiel on Brandon. I, I'm leaving. I hate to leave. We're doing it for several reasons, including family. Uh, but as far as how I feel about Brandon, Again, I've lived in seven different states. Brandon is the best town I've ever lived in, and I can wholeheartedly say that. And I'll probably say that in my grave. I, I, I don't think that that will change. That's just, it, I just, I can't say enough for it. As far as my seat goes, as far as feeling, filling this seat, I don't know exactly how that's gonna go, but um, I, have had, uh, I have had one person reach out to me, Dana Clark, um, I think she would be a great fit. I don't know if, if you guys have had conversations with her, but I've, I've had multiple conversations with her throughout the, the past six, seven months, and I think she's done a fantastic job staying up to date with the issues. She's attended quite a few meetings. Um, lately, she's attended every meeting. Um, you know, she built a business from the ground up here in Brandon. Uh, she's got, I think, eight or nine employees now. I, you know, that speaks volumes. I think she would be a great fit for this. I don't want to get too caught up in that, but if I had a recommendation, that would be my recommendation. I, I think she would do a good job. Lastly, I want to say goodbye to, to all of you that I worked with. Um, you know, when I, when I first started, I kind of did like what Tim, Tim is doing. I went around and visited with the de different departments and sat down and talked with them, Parks and, and Raleigh's group and, and, and obviously staff. And unfortunately, I bug staff a little more than probably I should. I'm in there quite a few times a, a week, but... Um, Boy, what a, what a great group of individuals right there. For me to be able to walk in the door and sit my butt down in their chair and, and carry on a, an hour-long conversation about what we need to do next, I've never had any resistance. And, and that has been, boy, that, that's just been tremendous. They've been, they've been a great staff to work with. 
the police chief included, um, golf course included. I mean, I, I really, I really am thankful for the people that are in place in this in this city. And and lastly, that uh, uh, that comes back to council and the mayor. Fantastic group of people, and I have no doubt you guys will carry on uh, a wonderful tradition here in, in Brandon. I know there's some, I know there's some. Um, some obstacles to overcome here with this RFP and, and whatnot and, and other issues down the road. But if there's anybody capable of it, you, you sure are more than myself. And I think you've been a, a great group of people to work with. And I want to say thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank, thank you for your you service now. also. Thank you. Sorry for the long-winded speech. <laughs> I want to just uh, thank Don personally for taking on that water committee. Oh, Don, yes. that was a big job. I didn't realize how big of a job that was going to be. <laughs> so, so thank you very much for yes, handling that with class and yeah. doing a good job for us. Thank yeah. you. Yes, thank you for everything. Yes. With much hesitation, I will make a motion to accept Don's resignation. I'll second. All right, I have a motion from Jones, second from Wakefield to accept the resignation letter from Alderman Wells. And again, I echo the sentiment with great hesitation and because you've done a wonderful job. Thank you. I really have. Hey, and I, I don't, one, one other note, I don't want to leave out Paul, Paul Sano. Yep. Again, he was one of those folks that I visited with Rockstar. multiple times a week. He's not sitting over there. I think he's sitting out there. And he's been, uh, if, if someone deserves credit, uh, that guy sure does because he's, He's so dedicated to this town, and the, the help that he has given me has been tremendous. So thank you, Paul. Yep. Thank you. All right, with that being said, I have a motion and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed. All right. Best wishes again, sir, yeah. in thank your you. new adventure. Thank you for coming tonight. Yes. <laughs> um, so the time thing, um, we've talked about this. Uh, we talked about it briefly Thursday um, with hesitation and, and uh, not so much enthusiasm. We accepted the resignation. Uh, we will advertise um, for interested citizens starting May 16th, but right now the invitation is open also for Ward 2. Um, we would advertise a second time. May 25th is the deadline. There is, is that up behind me, the little thing that you have to yeah. fill out? It's, you can get it at City Hall, fill it out, and um, the council will interview candidates. I'm not here the 31st. We just discussed that. That will be flexible depending on okay. the council schedule. All right. This, this was the tentative. I should have put tentative. Yeah. And then... Uh, Hopefully by June 4th, we will have an appointment, okay? So uh, I know there's people out there that have reached out to some of us, so please get that form filled in, and, and uh, if you need to, call me, and I'll be more than happy to talk. City engineer job description. Dan Oakland has made a couple of revisions to the the job description for the city engineer position, they're, they're shown in red and underlined. Kind of reflects some of the discussion that the council had mm -hmm. um, at our special meeting last week. Do we need to vote on this? Yep. Okay. Make a motion to accept this job description. Motion from Parsons, second from Hausman to accept the city engineer job description. Questions or discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Item F, health insurance. It's that time of the year, the annual renewal is coming up. We usually act on that in June. Uh, we start talking about it usually in May. I got an email from Barb and Chuck with a couple of suggestions that we have HR do a uh, wage and benefit analysis for the Brandon area, including public and private job sector. So I'll talk to Dan and get that rolling. Um, I'm not going to steal Casey's thunder for the renewal stuff, um, but it's better than last year. So I'll put it that way. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> so, dis discussion, Casey's coming when? Pardon? Casey's coming Casey when will be again? at the next council meeting. Okay, thank you. All right, anything else, administration? No, no. all right, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Item 21 Street, we have our maintenance work report. I'm sure there is a lot of uh, patching going on. And Raleigh's making his move up here. Well, I thought I had two on the hook, but one got away. Actually, two got away. I got told our interview tomorrow went down the tubes, too. So so I'd like to hire Matt Fickboom, who's been with us. It'll be his third year, I think, or been with us three years now, so at the wage that we had listed in the paper there. So, so we don't have this Brady Bass? What's that? No, Brady, Brady Bass. Uh, wasn't he was looking at getting hired but he's either accepted a job somewhere else or had some financial difficulties so oh, okay so we're only doing that we're doing that yep. all right so i'll make a motion to approve that second. a motion for housing second from jones to approve matthew fickbaum questions or discussion if not all in favor signify by saying aye aye and then this you got anything else there, sir? No. Okay. Street sweepers been out and we're patching potholes and ongoing. ongoing process. We have a renewal or a matching grant agreement, matching funds for transit bus maintenance with the state, which is rather lengthy. Twenty-four pages for one thousand two hundred and seventy-seven dollars. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Second. Motion from Jones, second from Hausman for approval of the matching funds grant for the transit bus maintenance. Questions or discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. All right. Um, there is, has been a request for a reduced speed limits on East Aspen and a turning lane at Sunshine Avenue. Sunshine Sun in Aspen, yeah. We've had a request in the last week to, to, to take a look at that. Um, Aspen from Split Rock Creek East is under county jurisdiction. If you remember that, so I've contacted DJ Boothy at the county. He's willing to sit down with us and start looking at some of these issues if, if the council is interested. Um, if we're going to do something like a turn lane, we'll have to have a joint agreement um, divvying up those costs as we proceed with that. But if the council is interested, uh, DJ is more than willing to sit down and, and take a look at, at these two requests. I'd be happy to sit down and talk with DJ. A couple of the residents in, in my neighborhood have talked to me about it, so I wouldn't have a problem with that. Thank you. All right, so we'll have okay. open conversation, which is always good. Anything else, Street? No. All right. Um, water and sewer, a recommendation for a water source study. The review committee, uh, as you know, we had five five interested engineering firms that responded to our RFP for water sources study. Uh, we reviewed those five applicants, narrowed it down, we interviewed two. Um, those interviews took place the 24th and 25th of April. Uh, at this point in time, the review committee is recommending that we award the contract to AE2S for option one. Um, they presented us with two options. The first option was $155,000. Uh, we believe that that is it meets all of the requirements of the RFP. Um, if we want additional information regarding uh, aquifers in particular, we can we can add on to that study in the future. Um, another seventy-two thousand two hundred dollars to to do that additional aquifer study. Um, looking at it, their project final report will be due in two hundred ninety days. Um, there's some interim 
interim reports here as well, uh, talking with AE2S, they can give us some, some possible recommendations in August, September for possible capital projects for next year based upon the preliminary findings of the study. So at this point in time, this uh, committee review, uh, recommends AE2S. Will the council be receiving some of that uh, additional information, uh, the responses, the RFP or anything like that, Brian? For, yeah, you can come in and take a look at all of them if you want. Okay, that'd be great. So just, just a quick note on this, because this was kind of one of those deals that was pretty near and dear to my heart was this getting this put into place and utilizing this process. Um, first of all, out of the five that submitted proposals, um, I, I mean, they were all impressive proposals. I, I, I want to make sure we communicate that. Uh, we narrowed it down to, uh, you know, kind of our top two or three, and, and I can tell you the, the two that we interviewed, um, it was a tough choice. They, they, they were both, let's put it this way, they were, they were all qualified. All five of them were qualified highly qualified. Our top two that we interviewed were, were most definitely qualified. We made our decision based on um, AE2S. We felt like approached it a little bit differently. And we wanted to change the way we were doing things because the way we were doing things kind of led to what we're in now. So we, we thought, you know, what can we do to, to, to make this better? And, and part of that was in our, in our, understanding was maybe to change the approach a little bit not drastically but just a little bit and that was something that A2S offered um, that was I think one of the driving forces that that we selected them over anyone else because again they were all they were all qualified they all had uh, fantastic individuals that showed up for the interviews that I think would do a great job communicating to the public and, and to staff as far as what's recommended my only recommendation as I, as I leave, and, and I won't be here to, to pursue this, but my only recommendation is, is, is like Brian sp spoke of, I, I, make, I, I would love to see this kind of a, a working, rolling relationship with them. And like, like he said, you know, have suggestions for capital projects sooner than at the end of the report. I think waiting till the end of the report is we're missing the boat. Yeah. We've yeah. got to do something sooner mm -hmm. than later. I agree. And if, and if you guys, you know, if, if, in a month or two, if you guys feel it necessary to, to uh, make changes to that, it, to try and get some of those changes to occur sooner, I mean, that I would probably have been on board <laughs> with that if I was still here. But I think that what they're doing, trying to step it up and, and, and make some recommendations for us for next year, uh, leaves us in the position of utilizing the Water Conservation Committee subcommittee, which is doing a fantastic job, and I do believe that will be just fine this year. I wholeheartedly believe that. So I, I think that this plan that that's been put in place, it's been a long time coming. We put a lot, a lot of people put a lot of work into this, and I think it's a great thing for Brandon, and I think it's a, a model to use for future projects as as you approach them especially of this size so okay. go ahead and make the motion uh so with that sorry <laughs> go ahead and make the motion i'll make a motion to approve ae2s for the uh engineering firm for this rfp i'll second thank you i have a motion from wells second from wakefield to approve the firm of AE2S for our water study. Questions or discussion? And Don, you're recommending we start with basic water. Correct. That, that would be my recommendation, yes. Okay. Any other questions and discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Item B, first reading ordinance 563, ordinance of the city of Brandon, South Dakota, amending chapter 14.2, regulation of water use, and chapter 14.3, water and sewer service in general. This outlines the water restrictions that we've been talking about as recommended by the Water Conservation Subcommittee. Uh, we're currently in even odd, we'll remain in even odd for the foreseeable future. 
if we reach certain goals, uh, the usage of 1.6 million gallons per day for, I believe, three days, that will kick into what we call the yellow designation, which is watering of lawns one day per week based upon the last digit of your address. If we exceed 1.6 million gallons per day for another seven days, I believe, um, then we go into a watering ban. We can certainly move back if we, if we fall below um, some targets as well. So we will communicate what stage we are in on our website um, through the Textedly app that we have, uh, Facebook, et cetera, as well as the news media. And this outlines the, the penalties for violation. First one, you get a door hanger. Second one is a $100 surcharge to your next month's water bill. The third violation is a $200 surcharge. The third one is a $300 surcharge, and eventually we will shut the service off if it continues. So there were some questions uh, brought up about swing pools. Can we get some clarification on that? I, it's my understanding that swimming pools cannot be filled on a day that you're on a restriction. So if it's an odd day and you're an even house, don't fill your pool on an even day. Is that correct? I believe we're just addressing lawn water right at the moment. Um, okay, because it's it says on uh, item G as uh, 14.2.2 prohibited uses, swing pools. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that because a couple of residents have reached out. So. And, and what G says is we have the ability to regulate it if we want. Okay. But we're not, and, and then if you go down and you read what the, um, the color coding is, yep. the color coding, the regulations that the city is putting into effect are just the watering of lawns, shrubs, trees. We haven't enacted something on the uh, swimming pools. Perfect. Thank you. Motion to approve first reading. <coughs> Second. Motion from Jones, second from Parsons to approve first reading, ordinance 563. Any other questions or discussion? Just real quick, again, I, I want to say thank you to the conservation subcommittee because th this is going to be a difficult task to, to take. You know, there's going to be some resistance from people. This is, this is a lot of change occurring to the, to the residents, myself included. This is not an easy thing to try and get in, fall into this groove. And it's, it's not going to be necessarily easy, but I think it's, I think it's needed. And I think it's a great step in the, in the right direction. And, Thank you to the Conservation Committee for the time that they've put into coming up with some of these recommendations that, again, we, we've pulled these ideas from surrounding cities, and, and I, I think they'll work. Okay. With that being said, I had a motion and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Item C, we have a wastewater contract amendment with the City of Sioux Falls. Correct. They are... Sioux Falls is, is proposing to change the way that they uh, measure the limits for BOD, TSS, nitrogen, and oil and grease in the wastewater that we discharge to them. Currently, they measure those strengths by uh, milligrams per liter. They are proposing to change those to pounds per day. Uh, we'll just use BOD for an example. The current limit is 220 milligrams per liter. They are proposing to change that to 3,764 pounds per day. As an example, I've, I gave you that handout. Um, under the current limit of 220 milligrams per liter, that equates to 1,193 pounds per day of BOD that we ship to them based upon March's um, wastewater strength. The proposed limit uh, at 3,764 pounds per day, and we're sitting currently on, based upon the month or March averages uh, we're shipping to them 2,028 pounds of BOD per day. Now this is in our favor. Um, there's a penalty for exceeding these limits. That's $1,000 for each one. Um, historically, we, we have usually exceeded BOD solids and nitrogen. Uh, so it's a $1,000 penalty per month for each of those. So with these changes, um, those penalties should go away. If we remain constant, if we get a spike, that there may be something different. So we should save about $3,000 a month um, in wastewater fees. Uh, historically, our BOD, our loading, has exceeded Sioux Falls' loading limits. Same thing with Harrisburg. They've exceeded them as well. 
talking with the staff from Sioux Falls, they are starting to see their limits increase as well. And they trace it back to their conservation program as well as their fair, very aggressive INI abatement program. So they are getting less clean water into their sewer system. And like I said the other night, solution is the dilution, or dilution is a solution to pollution. Um, we are a fairly new community as well as Harrisburg. So <coughs> a lot of our homes have been built since 92. So our strength of concentration of sewer has always been higher than Sioux Falls. We don't have the leaking pipes. We don't have the high flow fixtures that a lot of residents or a lot of buildings in, in Sioux Falls have. So this actually works in our favor. Um, and then maybe only as one other clarification because Brian, this one doesn't have the clarification paragraph 37th about the term. Oh, the term stays the same. Well, ju just so the council members yep. make sure they understand, we're about three years into the 20 year agreement. So the version in, in the packet, for whatever reason, on paragraph 37 doesn't specify, but the one that the Sioux Falls Council has before them tomorrow will make it clear that we're three years in. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, for those members on the council maybe that weren't here when we signed it three years ago, um, we agreed to a 20 year term, but there's a three year provision that you can get out upon three years of notice. So if we wanted to do something, we could give them termination notice. So we could go do something different if we wanted. Uh, but otherwise, we have 17 more years of this, and then we have two five-year renewals if we wanted to do that before we'd have to renegotiate an entire new contract so, or do something different. And it looks like, uh, according to this, we have a minimum of 300,000 gallons a day uh, for that three-year term. So realistically, we could shed a little bit to them if we would want to do something different, just meet that minimum. And then also... Um, the daily limit, are we ever going to, where are we at on that percentage? Are we close to the daily limit? Yeah, we're at about, uh, with BOD, we're at about 75 to 77%. So when it hits 80, we'll, we'll begin negotiations again. But okay. I wouldn't, how about, our, our BOD doesn't change dramatically. How about MGD, so million gallons per day? Is there, it looks like there might be a limit there. Are we okay on that? No, we're fine. We've got a, a limit of two and a half million gallons a day. Okay. So with that, I'll make a motion to approve. Second. I have a motion from Wells, second from Jones to approve the contract amendment with Sioux Falls for our wastewater. Questions or discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Anything else, water sewer? That, that one got taken off. Oh, that one got taken off, too. Any other business before council? I would make a request for an executive session. Make that motion, sir. I'd make a motion to go into executive session under section 125.2.1, which is public officers and employees. A motion from Parsons, second from Hausman to go into executive session. All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed?